Finding regens or new gens can always be one of the most tricky parts of playing FM. Sometimes you just simply don't have enough scouts to scour the globe or the ones you do have just simply aren't good enough. However, I've been playing the game long enough now that I kind of know the best places to look. Some of them very obvious, some of them you may never thought to search. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be helping you in your eternal quest of finding the next Ballon d'Or winner of the future before the big European giants get their selfish and wasteful hands on them and just ruin them. So let's take a nice early like target of 400. Can you get 400 likes on this video and help me through the YouTube algorithm? And if this video does help, please consider sticking around and smashing that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so yet. And of course, there is also a notification bell that alerts you to tell you that I've uploaded a video. So I dare you to press that button. I dare you. Now we're actually going to be starting at this game setup screen and for a very good reason there are certain people who don't quite know the trick on loading players without leagues and I just want to show you that before we get in there and show you really the leagues that I like to load. So whatever team that you're going to manage I'm just going to select pick team later because it doesn't necessarily matter I'm not actually going to load anything here. Go to the advanced setup. Once you are on the advanced setup the game will load up here and it will take you to this page here. Now, only really load the leagues that you wish to view, and you can do that by selecting view only, or the leagues that you want to play. And if you don't want to view or play any, just get rid of them. It will help your game play so much faster. So even in this, for instance, if you're only gonna do a Premier League save, just do a Premier League save. A lot of people don't like to do that because then that only gives you 6,000 players. However, if you just click on this, you can click advance, you can add those players as well. I'm gonna show you how I like to set up my database. Now I've just quickly gone through, it's taken me about five minutes to do so, but I've gone through and selected everything that I like to select when I am doing a big term save. And this is basically what I've got loaded in my youth to gold And you're going to see the reason why I have loaded these when I load up the youth to gold save in a second and show you the players and where I found these players in the future. So first and, first and foremost, continents, I always add Africa, players based in nation, it's the cheapest place to get players anywhere on the planet. South, South America is the best place to get players. We all know the South American Wonderkids just seem to be better than a lot of the rest of the world. So I always select players based in nation for Africa because if you select players of nationality, you're going to get all of the Africans around the world and not the ones in the world, in, in Africa itself. And you want to get the ones from Ivory Coast and South Africa because they load through a lot of very good Wonder Kids. Uh, the South America regions, I've done players based in nation and players of nationality because that will load up both. And at the start of the game, players of nationality will help you find those little hidden gems as well. Now, if you go on to nations, I've selected a number of different nations and you can see I've always done each time players based in nation. And I'll tell you the reason for that. The likes of Syria. I get so many good wonder kids from Syria and they're even cheaper than the African ones. They're just not as many and maybe not as good, but still you can make a big profit from them. And as I keep going through, you can see all of these nations that I'm loading, just players based in nation. You're going to start seeing some of the bigger ones, Belgium, Croatia there, England's going to be popping up, uh, and so on and so forth. And I scroll all the way through because some people might want to see exactly every single nation that I have loaded here. And you can slow the video down and pause it at any point and see who I have loaded here. One of them actually is quite controversial, the Pays Basque. Of course, that is... The Basque country um, that is kind of included in Spain as well, but I like to just load it anyway. It doesn't add too many players to the database. Uh, and as I go forward towards the end here, we will see the, the some of uh, the uh, North American nations, Canada, Jamaica, Mexico and the USA. Now that has loaded a total of 296,000 players. Some people might be scared of that. However, if I do press OK, it does say half a star. Ignore the star rating. Ignore the star rating because it's only the players and not the leagues. It will still be quite fast. The game will be quite fast. But if you are still worried about it, you don't know how your laptop will take that, load it back up and then select top division clubs because top division clubs for each one, if you take off of, uh, for that, say, for instance, if I just did that 
for some of the big European nations, like Belgium, take that off. Uh, and even if I look down in France and take that off, put top division clubs there. England as well is a big one who has a lot of na a lot of players lower down in the leagues. You'll see it starts taking it down. That's almost six, well, it's 260. That's 30,000 players taken off just like that. Go through and do that for every single league and you reduce the number quite a lot. You won't get as many players through as regens, but it will still help your game if you're worried about your game speed. So that's basically the database setup part of this. And it's kind of important, but also not so much to find these regens because even if you have a small database, some of these regens may still pop up. It's obviously not as many, but you're more likely to have more players when you have all of those players loaded at the start because it wants to keep filling the roles of players retiring. So it will every single club will have like three or four players loaded instead of just one every now and then. And it makes a big difference when you're looking for the world-class types of players. So for now, I'm going to load up the youth to gold save and we're going to take a look at where I've been finding these absolute hidden gems and where you need to start looking. So this is the youth to gold save and we are currently in the fourth season. In our first season in the Bundesliga, we're currently sitting second. So we're doing all right, to be honest. If you want to watch that series, it is live on twitch.tv forward slash Game, and we've got so many people joining. We get so many views, live viewers, and everyone seems to be loving their time whilst we are managing Holstein Kiel. So it'd be great to see some more of you over there on twitch.tv forward slash Gaming. The link is down in the description. But a lot of you who have watching that have known that I have found some absolute gems that are already my first team in the Bundesliga. So let's take a look at some of them. So some of the standout names that we are going to be looking at today is this man here. So Jeff Gayton is one of my Patreon members. He has renamed one of my players. And we can see this player looks fantastic. He's 19 years of age. He's just turned 19 as well. And he has some fantastic attributes here. Now the physical attributes, they are still good left to be grown. Uh, but we do have good natural fitness and decent stamina. That's what I really want really from a centre midfielder. He's playing the deep line playmaker role. So that's what I'm looking for. Most importantly, natural fitness and stamina. He has that. The rest of them, 9s, 10s, 11s, he's going to get there. That's fine. But if you look at the technical attributes, he already has 15 passing. He has 17 technique and 17 first touch. Fantastic work rate, bravery, decisions. And you must be thinking, well, if you, if you sign him and he's Russian, his nationality is Russian, Russia has a lot of money, that must be quite difficult to buy him. Absolutely not. Free transfer. Yes, it was, in fact, a free transfer. In the very first youth intake, I found this player through scouting every single youth intake. And you can do that quite simply. And I'll show you that after I show you this player and where he comes from. The reason why this player is free is he, he comes from an academy team. And you need to be scouring the globe for these academies. These academies don't have a league to play in. So all of their players are just free to buy. This player doesn't look fantastic, but say he was that player that i just shown you when I first found him. Or if I look, his value is zero. His contract is zero. If you offer to sign the player, usually you'd be stung with a compensation fee. It is absolutely zero. You don't have to pay a penny to sign this player. It is phenomenal. And there are so many around the world. For instance, there's a player that I did a player spotlight on. I'm in Essahal. You can find him from the Moroccan one. So here is Amen Esahal. He is a real player. And if you have the African nations loaded, you will find him on your game. Already he's quite good, 21 years of age, but we have done a player spotlight on him and he turns out far better than this. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't done so. So far he is in Morocco at one of Morocco's biggest clubs. However, they signed him on a free transfer from the Moroccan Academy. And again, it's that they're, they're free to join. It's, I mean, this guy actually looks quite good. Maybe it's a good standard of football that you're at, or maybe not so much. He might be quite appealing to you. He's 6'2", has some decent attributes there. And you can sign him again. He's free. He is literally free. He doesn't want to sign, but if he did, he'd be free to sign. There are a number of these different clubs around the world. You just need to find them. Mainly, just type in academy, and sometimes they'll just pop up. Every single country, I think, has one of these somewhere. The Australian one's quite good as well. I've already pinched a player from there. So make sure you try and look for these nations and have a look at their academies. Because you will find some hidden gems there. And like I mentioned, 
they're free. So if you do manage to sign them, because these clubs, their sole purpose is to find youth players. And that's their sole purpose. They find these youth players, they don't have a league to play in, but they have great facilities to develop them. And their youth importance, the hidden attributes for the club, is the highest that it can possibly be in the nation, whatever nation, whatever their youth importance is. So if they're going to find, if, if that country's going to find a good player, chances are it's going to be at that club. And you need to be the first team there to sign them as a free transfer. But how I actually found the player that I did, Jeff Gayton himself, how I found him was through the search engines that I look for. So let's take a look at that. So if you simply press Control W, it will take you to the world page. And on this, it will take you straight to the transfer page. If you go down on the transfer page and type in youth intake, it will show you all of the youth intakes that you've had in the year that you are in. And obviously 2024 here, if you flick that the other way, it will show you the most recent ones. And a lot of these players coming through, you can approach the sign straight away if, they, if it hasn't been or if it's on the day. So for instance, there's a lot of players here for this Portuguese club who tend to have some good regens. If I were to go on here and say he is an amazing player, already he's an approach to sign player, I can pick him up should he wish to join me for a very cheap cost instead of having to offer them a transfer. So that's how I basically found all these players. And there's many tricks that you can do if you shift and go all the way down. There's something like 50 players I think you can do at a time. You can either scout them like that or you can add them to your shortlist. And I always have a regen shortlist that I have there. And then I go and just scout and just completely have one or two scouts who will just keep refreshing that just in case anyone comes up for free. Not to mention it also lets you know if they're about to run out of contract. And I've managed to pick up a few different players just through that method as well. But if we go back to my first team lineup here, there is a couple of African players in here which... I managed to pick up for so cheap, you would just not believe it. Now, ignore the faces. This is my regen face pack that we have. Chilled Moose's regen face pack. If you have a, se a separate regen face pack, it might do that. But I like this one because it's automatic and I pay the money because I think what the work that she does is fantastic. So that's on Twitter or on uh, patreon.com forward slash chilled moose. You will find that. It's $5 a month, absolutely worth it. Now, this man here, 18 years of age, Maury Coadio. He doesn't look fantastic, however, he has been scoring me a lot of goals. He's actually got nine goals in eight goals, sorry, in nine games, seven in seven league games. So he's obviously quite good because he wouldn't score that many in the Bundesliga. He actually scored a hat trick against Bayern Munich. It was incredible. Anyway, how much money did I spend on this player? 1.2k. What that's it? 1.2k is all I spent on him. Even if I never used him, I'd probably be able to sell him on for more than 1.2k. And I mean, I don't know how he's going to develop, but if he's scoring goals already, he's in my first team. He's actually my number 10. He replaced Matthias Reza when Bayern Munich stole him. And I found him from this club here. And I've never heard of this club, but because I have the Ivory Coast loaded, I just went on to the Ivory Coast and all their clubs and you can see their competition here. You can load that up or you can just go on major clubs. And if you click on the major clubs, you can see all of the clubs there in that league. Have a look and scout all of their players, all of their clubs, all of their players. Because, I mean, where is that club that I look for? They're in the third division. They're in the third division of the Ivory Coast League. So that's the reason why I load all of the nation's players, not just the top divisions. I've gone from the third division of the Ivory Coast. There is a number of different clubs that you really need to look at all the time, especially in the Ivory Coast. One of them is ASAC Mimosas, who always produce really good players. The other one is RC Abidjan. They have two really good players at the start of the game, two real players, Ngesan and Uatara, who you need to look at. Uh, and occasionally a few of these clubs as well bring through some incredible players. But that's the same with every single one of the African nations. If you know a good African nation... Have a look at them. Ghana, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, all of these nations here. Even the obscure ones. Just take some time. Take a couple of hours out of your evening and scout all of these players and just find out who's good, who's not, because I picked that guy up for 1.2k. But sharing the uh, the lineup, we also have my right back, Claude Doso. He is also Ivorian. He is also fantastic. He is my first team right back. And he is quite incredible. Again, he has fantastic potential. He doesn't have some of the best attributes uh, because he doesn't really like training and he's quite inconsistent. But for the price I paid for him of 250k, 
he will do because I got him from ASAC again. I found ASAC. He is very good. I mean, his value's dropped a little bit, but I know he's going to improve at least somewhat. And once we get into Europe, which hopefully is very soon, he has a driven personality. He has fantastic teamwork. He has great work rate. Although he isn't as consistent, he should still progress. I will easily make my money on him at, for the very least, or I, he will just turn into the world's best right back or one of the world's best right backs and I can just continue using him and I only spent 250k on him. We also now take a look at my starting right midfielder. Now he's injured at the minute so he well he's just coming back from injury um, but he is my starting right midfielder and he's actually been performing very well this season getting a few goals and assists in the Bundesliga. He doesn't look too special but he's only 19 years of age. He has some decent technical attributes but the mental attributes and the physical attributes are decent enough for me to be using him. He has what I need him to have for the winger on attack role. And if we do look at his history, I paid £550 for him from a club in Uruguay when he is a Brazilian player. He come from the Uruguayan club of Colina de Riviera, who I have never heard of. But because I have Uruguay loaded, they have poor facilities. They, they, are, they are like... I've never heard of them. I doubt you have too, unless you're from Uruguay. And maybe even then you might not have even heard of them. But still, £550. And here's my starting right midfielder. He's genuinely been playing really well. Four goals, three assists, a decent average rating. And he has great potential. He's a highly consistent performer as well. And it shows. He's been doing fantastic for me. And he cost me 500 quid. I could literally draw that out of the cash machine now and purchase him. I'm joking, I do not have 550 quid in my bank account. I'm sorry. But the same can be said about all of these South American clubs. We have my starting goalkeeper here, Christian Vergara, the man with the most fantastic hair that I've ever seen. And he is just 18 years of age and he does already look fantastic. He's six foot four, he has great reflexes, he's great at rushing out, good handling and kicking. And the rest of his attributes will progress and hopefully will turn into a fantastic goalkeeper. He is a five-star potential goalkeeper again. And if we do look at his history, I paid less than 10k for him from a club in Colombia. Not one of the biggest clubs in Colombia. But, I mean, let's have a look. Pedro Solares, if we take a look at their major clubs, is are they even in the top division? I mean, I don't I don't think so. Pedro Solares. No, they are very far down the ladder in Colombian football. There they are. They're in a lower division. And I think that's the third division there in Colombian football. And we've picked him up. And he's fantastic. Yet again, another amazing club that we've just managed to find. Well, another amazing player that we've managed to find from this club. And he's already, well, he's my starting goalkeeper because his attributes are fantastic. He might not be the best choice. But again, because of the rules of the save, the youth to go to save, we are only allowed to sign teenagers. We are not allowed to use players 30 or above. A goalkeeper is very hard to come by. We spent 10k and I found one which will probably be my goalkeeper for the majority of the save. And the same can be said for a lot of these players that I have brought in at this club. We have another man here, uh, Xander Kraus. He is a Croatian player and he looks fantastic already. He's 19 years of age. He's been doing very well for me as well. And we bought him for 18k from a lower league club in Croatia. 18k, that's so cheap. Look how much I'm actually spending on these players. And they're coming in and they look fantastic. One here, £180 and he looks great. A Slovakian. We also have like, we have an Irish player here. I loaded the Irish league and I've managed to get an Irish player. He's cheap. And he doesn't look like he's going to turn into a fantastic player. But he's a free transfer. He's he's from Wales. He plays in Wales. It's You need to be loading these players. Uh, there's another academy club. Here we go. CU Academy. This is the Australian one that I spoke about before. They have a key player here. Doesn't look too bad, to be honest. 19, though. He's a little bit further on in his career. But always make sure you check these clubs. Because the player that I did manage to get from them, Ryan Forks, he doesn't look fantastic. But I signed him on a free transfer. He's already worth 40k. Maybe I can sell him for 100k in the future. He doesn't have the best potential. But it's money that I never had before. And I will just keep checking these clubs and seeing if I have any any little gems to pick up. Uh, this club always is a new one that always comes up now. The Portuguese club here. Um, Gondomar. And I've picked up a few of their players. This man. I mean, what a player he is. And... I'm, oh, wow, I can't click on anything. Where are they? Where, where did he go? Where did he go? Here he is, Sandro. Again, free transfer. Free transfer from a Portuguese like third-tier team. Free transfer. He looks fantastic. 
So like I mentioned before, having those players loaded for those different nations is the easy part. It's just finding them. And there's no really like fantastic trick that I can give you which will just give you those players. However, you just have to spend a few couple of hours every night just looking for them and getting loads and loads of scout reports. And the you have to trust your scouts in a way and have a look at those cons and pros. And I'm going to do a video on that, so make sure you stick around and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing a video on the pros and cons that you need to look out for because they're actually really important when searching for a player. But there's other methods as well, such as looking at the international squads and looking at the, the under-19s, the under-17s. And there's you, that obviously takes a while as well, but let's take a look at how you can do that. So this method is very simple indeed. You just go to the national team. If you look at under-19s here... This is maybe a little bit more expensive way of finding some players, uh, but you tend to find that the ones with the highest value are probably going to be the better players. And we take a look at this man. He is another regen, 18 years of age. He does actually look quite good. Uh, comes from Flamengo, one of the big Brazilian teams, so you might not be able to sign him up for rather cheap. Um, but if you, oh, he's actually on loan as well at Inter Miami, so it could be even more expensive to get him. But just go through a couple of these players. Take a look at him. This man looks very cheap. For how much he is, for, for how good he actually is at 18. Obviously, a lot of these players have been playing in the game for a, quite a while, and that's why they're in the under 19s because they have turned 18 years of age. But you just have to kind of, you just have to search for them using search engines as well and searching players who are maximum age of 17 and then have like decent determination, like 14 determination and half decent work rate. And maybe if you're looking for, for specific uh, positions, just having those positions loaded and what's good in those roles, but setting it at a very low marker, like a 10 or for instance like that, that's probably the easiest way of finding some of those players. So as a quick overview, the things that you need to remember most when you're searching for these new gens and the best players in the world is really you need to be loading these nations to begin with. If you don't load these nations, it's very rarely that you'll find these players. However, once you do load them, that's when the hard work starts. You need to be scouting and have a look. Basically, click a nation, have a look at their clubs, go through, scout their players, see what happens, or use that control W method and go through and have a look. You kind of know after a while, what I was trying to say at the start is the reason why I know where to look now is because after years and years and years of doing these methods, I know the clubs that I tend to produce good players. So I don't need to send my scouts there. I will look myself and then I'll send my scouts elsewhere and they'll find me the ones that I do not expect to find or the ones that you see today at the academy clubs and stuff like that. That's where I'm like, oh, that's a good little find. Send your scouts to the, the nations that you have loaded. You're more likely to find players at those nations. Have a look at those academy players. If you can find an academy club, just type in academy in the search bar. Thousands of clubs will come up. Just go through and find ones which actually are academies because a lot of them are actually just clubs. But you'll know which ones are because they won't be a part of a league or anything like that. And have a look and scout their players because, like I mentioned, so a lot of them tend to be really good. As well as also, of course, using your search engine. Use it wisely. Scouting. Go on the scouting page. Select 16 to 17 or 16 to 18. And then doing different searches. Good determination. Good at heading or good at finishing. Good pace. Make sure they have good physicals. When you scout them as well, look at what your coaches or your scouts are coming back as the pros and cons. Are they really inconsistent? Are they good professionally? Look at their personality. That's the best way to find these players. If they're really good, they need to have good hidden attributes, else they will never reach their full potential. And time after time, I've had a player and I think, well, he must be good. He has all the fundamentals there. He has five-star potential and he never gets past a two-and-a-half-star current ability because he just doesn't have the good hidden attributes to take him to the top. And that's basically the video. I hope it's kind of not too daunting. A fact, it is a lot of hard work. There's no easy way of just saying, look at this club or look for these players. Type this in and it will just find you players because it's never as simple as that unless you're using some kind of cheat editor that a few people in the comments have said, oh, why don't you just use Genie Scout or whatever it is. Don't, if you want to find these players by yourself, there are ways of doing it. You just have to put the time and effort and it will be so much more rewarding 
once you eventually do that. Occasionally, it might not work out though. You might spend your money like two or three million pound on a player, and you might just they might just flop. I think I've done that plenty of times on last year's Youth to Go. There are so many players who never developed or never who did develop and still turned out to be terrible. But if you do these methods well enough, you'll start picking up the best ways of doing it. You'll find these little hidden gems. You'll find the best places to go. You'll keep going back to those best places. The searches will be easier. You'll start doing it in autopilot while you're watching the telly or something like that. It's a nice way of finding and relaxing and it's the best part of FM in my opinion, finding these regions and then developing them. So I hope this video helped. If it did, Please consider smashing that like button. Please consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing a little bit more based on when you find them, what to look for in those pros and cons. I think that's really important and something I want to learn about myself. So I think why not do a video on it? That'll be quite interesting. So of course, if you want to check out the youth to go save and have a look at how some of these players actually develop for me, twitch.tv forward slash Megaloop Gaming. The link is down below in the description. We go live some evenings throughout the week and definitely on the weekend as well. So make sure, I don't really have a schedule, but I always post it in my Discord. So join the Discord and you'll know exactly when I'm going live. It's the best way to find out really. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you did manage to get to the end of the video, thank you very much. I will see you for the next one, probably tomorrow. Bye bye.